Hello, okay, um, this is an introduction of how to get SIG working very simply, very quickly. So here we have a folder, um, it's inside a, a folder called Quick Start, and here we're going to show an example of catchment mode C's running. And for that we need a rainfall file, we need a bedrock file, and we need a DM file, most important DM file. And this one here, the XML file, is the config file, which contains the, the data for simulation. So to run it really easily, we double click on Caesar, it takes a couple of seconds to boot up. Then we move to the config file tab, click on that, click on open. On the XML file, double click on that, and this will populate all the um, parameters within within Caesar with with parameters that we saved for this catchment mode simulation, which is part of the upper swale. We have tabs for for the files, and here we can see the files that we looked at earlier for the DM the bedrock file and the rainfall data. We can see all other different parameters: lateral erosion, numerical sediment. We'll go through these a bit more in detail. Anyway, so it's loaded up all these parameters. So we go down here, click on the button, load data. For a second while it loads in all the all the data, we we then get this. Uh, checkbox that comes up here that tells us that uh, all the variables are they're okay it does some automatic checks to see whether we've got some silly values in there or not click ok and then we press start and away it goes now you'll notice it's running very fast we've got up to six or seven days of simulation already and that's because there aren't any floods yet the the, the runs with a rainfall data set coming in so it hasn't been enough rainfall to generate any flow yet but we can have a look at the, the graphics functions within, within Caesar. If we go up here click on top graphics, we can turn the DM and it renders up a, a DM of the, of the upper swale in the UK. Here we can see the catchment nicely. Okay. And we can zoom in on this, and we can pan, and we can zoom back out again a bit if you like. Now, if we look down here, we can see we're now getting some discharge coming out of the catchment. These, these, this tab along here keeps an update on variables that are changing. So you've got the, the, the time steps, the amount of water coming out of the catchment, the amount of sediment coming out. We can update the graphics. We click on this, okay, and we can see we've now got some water running down the center of the catchment. It takes a second to update the graphics here because it has to render the DM in the background. If we switch that off, it's a lot quicker. So now we, we've got some full a smallish flood coming down about 10 meters cubed a second we can we can look at some other things here we can look at the amount of erosion deposition that's gone on so if we click on the erosion deposition tab um, this we can see which brought up I was guessing, I mean, brought up some some shading here and you can see there's some faint greens and faint reds greens deposition red means erosion there's not been much erosion deposition because quite simply there hasn't been much erosion, it hasn't been flooding for very long, it hasn't been going on for very long. I'm going to click off the uh, DM in the background, just like the rendering quicker. Okay. Now we can also look at things such as uh, the grain size, Okay. and we can look at things such as the drainage area, which is quite interesting. Okay. Darker colours and greater number of drops into a point. All sorts, of, all sorts of various things we can look at here, and it just overlays the graphics here. And and that's that's it. That's as simple as it gets to get Caesar up and running. You can see we're already simulating road position within this catchment of swale, running from a rival data series that's coming out here. Okay. Now we also have these pause and resume buttons as Caesar uses CPU time. If you want to stop the program and, and go and go and do something else, you can you can click pause and, and resume there and go and look at some other things. We can also look at our parameters if we check on this button here. A few tabs. Okay, so we can go back and look at these parameters that we have here. What you might notice here is that we've actually ticked this box here called catch output of that. And what that does is it contains the amount it contains like a, a time series of, of the, the amount of water and sediment that's coming out of the file which can be useful. We can also um, generate uh, Google Earth images as a file or as a, or as a movie file and we can do that quite simply. We'll create a screen grab of the picture of, of what, what was going on on screen. So here we have that here. I can click on graphic to Google Earth. I'm just going to pause it for a second. We go back and look at the look at the folder, and you can see it's created this image here with a KML file associated with it. But the image here is simply PNG of what was on the screen there. 
and you can set Caesar to output multiples of these so you can generate an automation file. Okay, so that's Caesar running at its most basic in catchment mode.